Hmm, my crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing! Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep. This guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember! Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals. Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome. What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! 
Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Whoa. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Psst. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. Don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier! I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start. Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch. Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. 
There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. After school means craft time! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Ugh. She's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've gotta protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like paint, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, missy! Now give me that dirty bear. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear, you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? It's not a bad start, right? I wanna do this forever! Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here! What the… I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yes, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom, then to the right, and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! 
Let me try. Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! All right, let's go! Oh wait, after you, of course. Wait, we'll go together. Time to see what the wheel is gonna pick! Ooh! A smiley emoji! Uh, really? Yes! I get to use one hand, and you get to use zero! Ha! Now let's see what the magic gets us. Wait, squeeze bottles? You know what, Sky? Let's get some aprons for this challenge. Okay, now we're ready to do this one! Maybe I can make the wheel change to something else. Come on, come on, come on! Please! Oh my gosh! It totally worked! I can't believe it! And now I get to do an ice cream instead. Okay, that circle works. And now I better start with some eyes. He needs some eyebrows too, I think. Okay, that should be enough for this one. On to blue! I'll draw these tears and then fill them in with the blue. <sighs> this is working okay, I think. There goes all the batter. It's starting to work. Now onto the red. Just gotta give it a squeeze. Just gotta get it along the blue like this. Not bad, all things considered. All right, onto the yellow. Can't have a smiley without yellow. I've just gotta fill in all the space with this color now. Gotta make sure each little area has color in it. Just a little bit more. And there! Time to flip it! Oh my gosh! Look at how good this is turning out! Oh no. I got a tickle in my nose. This is bad. A cow! Oh no! So that came right off! Oh! It made a huge crash! Oh. Yeah, that's a rough turn, Sky. Sorry. Whatever. It's fine. I guess I'm done now. Well, here. Maybe I can use the spatula to help you out a bit. I'll just push it a little over here. It's not like it can get any worse, I guess. There. See? That's better, right? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Yeesh, she's so grumpy right now. But hey, take a look at how mine turned out. Isn't it cute? Okay, I'll press the button this time. I wonder what it's going to land on this time. Ooh, a tree! I didn't expect that at all! Wait, I got no hands again? Let's see what the magic gives us for this challenge. Oh, I guess we've got a bottle of ink and a… straw? Well, guess I should get started. Time for you to show off your stuff, elbows! Great job! Now let's open the bottle of ink. Yes! Okay, good thing straws are actually made for the mouth. All right, now I need to use this to get some ink, I guess. <gasps> it's working! What the heck am I supposed to do with this straw? Oh no! She's drinking it! Stop! That's ink, not soda! Uh, what? Oh, phew, I thought you were drinking it. I'm drawing the only way I can. Just gotta keep blowing this ink in the direction I wanted to go. Wow! That's turning out amazing! I can't believe you can do all of that with a straw in your mouth. Ugh! Why isn't this working? Maybe I just have to blow even harder into the straw. Come on! Come on, you dumb ink! Phew! Wait, what's on my face? Aw, I got splattered with ink! What's she crying about over there? Ugh, she's a total mess. Wait! Huh? Stop! Why? Look! I've got this pink paint! I'll just squeeze a line of this paint out. And now for another color, too. Okay, I've got my paint lines. Now I need a cotton swab. I'll dab it in this light pink color. Now watch! I'll just dab it again, but on your black inky branches! See? It looks like flowers! Like little buds that have opened in the spring! Look at how great this is turning out! Isn't it beautiful? Wow! You really helped make my tree even more special! I'm so glad we worked on this together! Me too! It's lovely! 
What do you think we'll be doing next? This paint roller won't work. Get out of here. What's she going on about now? I hope you're ready to create artwork again. Oh gosh. Time for the spinner. Let's see what it's gonna choose. Dance. What a great choice. Dance? Really? How are we gonna make this work? Maybe I just need to get a good perspective. What if I look at it from this angle, maybe? Maybe I should just start by drawing. Ooh, I'm really loving how my ballerina's turning out. Oh shoot. My pencil lead snapped. Now what am I gonna do? Oh, there's a pencil sharpener. That'll do. Let me get my pencil sharpened again so I can get back to my drawing. Better sharpen all the pencils, actually. Might need other colors. And I don't want to be caught out with a dull pencil. Phew. Wait a second. Wow! I've got an even better way to finish my drawing now. Look at how pretty this looks around her waist. I think this'll be lovely. This is the last one. And it can go right here. Okay. Now I need to use a black marker to make it darker. There. Let's have this crayon add some skin color. A highlighter will give her some pretty yellow hair. And then a pink crown and a pink leotard. Oh, And ballet slippers, too. I almost forgot about those. I'm done! And I absolutely love her! Oh my! Wow! But what about this angle over here, maybe? Ah! Oh! Oh my! Are you okay? Are you injured? Ow! My ankle! I think I twisted it! <laughs> Quick! Elevate it! My nails look amazing! Hmm. Getting the right skill is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait. I've been working on some poses. How's that? Ugh. Awful. Oh, I know. Go over there. Okay. Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! Ugh. I'm awake. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Wow, that's really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh. Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. It's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. 
No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive. How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job. I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Bestie! Selfie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Meow! Mesmerized, huh? <laughs> well, snap out of it! Uh-huh. We have to draw a cat? Okay, I guess. This is tricky. Any day now. Whiskers? No. I could use a little inspiration. Is she really asleep? Now I can really get to work. Say goodbye, little kitty. You're coming with me! Hey, Stacy! <gasps> How'd you get that? Aw, good boy! I'd prefer the real deal! Aww! Sweet kitty. <laughs> You're my very best friend. And I'm gonna draw you too. Mmm, <laughs> 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 You're bigger than I anticipated. <laughs> I can't trace you at all. Maybe if you turn just a bit. No. Hmm. This isn't working. Stacy, give me the cat. Hmm? Where'd you come from? <laughs> anyway. <gasps> Let's do this. Time to turn the word cat into something a little more cat-like. I'll make this little guy brown. Don't forget the ears! And perhaps a few fun stripes. Almost as cute as the real thing! Anybody home over there? Huh? 
What do you think? <gasps> what did I miss? Huh? Right! Kitties! <laughs> Cute job, Stacy! Yes! That looks awfully familiar, Matt. <gasps> and now I know why! Oops. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Guess I'm taking this round then. Um, wow, what is she even doing up there? Oh, right, I have students now. First up, I want to see you draw a unicorn, all right? Get to work. Ew, this toothbrush was just in her mouth. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is this what I think it is? Yuck! Get this away from me! Well, I don't want it! Oh wait! It's actually giving me an idea! Time to get to work on my unicorn drawing! Gotta start with some colorful paint, of course. Rainbows are great for unicorns. Now I'm gonna use this toothbrush to make a mane pattern. Okay. I definitely don't need a toothbrush to plan my own picture. Using a marker. Okay, got the ears, the horn. You need some eyes, of course. Oh, let me see how yours is doing. Ugh, yeesh. That's something all right. No, I'm so bad at drawing unicorns. Yikes. Well, better get back to my picture. Oh, I know. It's magic wand time. Ta-da! The rest of the unicorn has appeared. Ooh, I really like how this turned out. Yay me! Aw, yours turned out so pretty. Well, hey, we still have time to fix yours. I have an idea. I'll just press your paper against mine. Look, see? You have a duplicate now, too. Hey, miss, I think we're done with our pictures! Wow, girls, those turned out great! I'm really impressed with both of you! Yes! We did it! And we both get prizes! Cheers! Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever! <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on! Exciting! This is so cool! I can't wait to see what happens next! Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come on, that's not fair! I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that! Time to start drawing my little alien guy! There's his head! Now to work on his body! Can't be a little alien dude without any arms! Two, of course! And then down to his little sticky legs! Now to add some details! He needs to have his typical big black eyes! And a little nose and mouth, too! Now to get him up and moving! Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey, Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves! Man, he's got some great moves if I say so myself! Do you love it? I bet you totally love it. Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it! Here, you can have this! This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh -huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! I can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. How? Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space cake. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right, they're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes, it worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would. Time for me to get poppin'. Hey, what the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art. Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. 
I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping. Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose. You're gonna function as my paintbrush. Ooh, the paint is kinda chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors. Look, I made my poppet shapes with my nose. Yay! I made mine too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are. Definitely better than yours. Whoa! The magic's back! Poppet cookies! Don't mind if I do. Um. Mmm. Oh wow, this is so, so tasty. It definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite too. Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball! So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it! Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There! Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go! Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! <laughs> oh, I'm so bored. Hmm. I know how to wake her up. How about a little karaoke? Huh? Oh no. Anything but that. Sha la 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 la! Oh no, it's the banshees. Oh, Ashley, stop it! It's so bad! My ears are hurting! Uh, Ashley? I don't think this is good. I think you should put the microphone down. Oh, yeah! She's still asleep? Oh, mommy, I don't want to go to school. I guess she's not a fan. Ahem. Oh, wee! Oh, who told her she can sing? Still nothing? Oh, tough crowd. Hit it! Oh, la, 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 Hey, sit down! I need to do something. I'll be right back. Still going. I can't believe it's come to this. Please make it stop. I can't take it anymore. She'd waken the dead. Let me know when it's over. Take it to the bridge! Shut up! Hey, knock it off! Wait a second. I have an idea. I'll try anything. I need this toilet roll. I'll cut the tube into two sections. I'll take one section. And I'll apply tape to the edge. I'll put it all the way around. That should do it. Now I'll make a small cuts in it. I'll keep them evenly spaced out. Just like this. Now I'll take my other hand. And I'll stick the tube to it. I'll need my concealer. I'll squirt it onto the tube. And I'll use a makeup brush to blend it. I want to cover the tape and the tube. I don't want any showing. Then I'll do the same with my hand and nails. Next, I'll need powder makeup. I just need a thin coating. 
I want to lighten the tone slightly. That looks good. Next, I need a pan. I'll draw thin lines across my hand. I want it to look like a scar. I'll add a little color to my nails. Then I'll add scars to my fingers. Wow, that looks good. And spooky. It's the thing of nightmares. Time to shut Ashley up. I think I'll turn off the lights. Huh? What happened? Mindy? Is that you? Who? Who is there? I don't like this. Stay back! I know karate! Where are you? Wait, what was that? Something's touching me. You're behind me, aren't you? Huh? Nothing's there. This is so weird. Maybe I'm imagining it. It was so freaky. The lights went out. And then something grabbed me. Yeah, it sounds really strange. Hold on. Is that better? Phew, thanks, Mindy. What a relief. Oh, no. No, it can't be. It was real. Huh? It sure was. Ah! What? Huh? Relax, it's just my hand. See? There's nothing to worry about. What's going on? What the? It was you! Oh, hey, you're awake! What are you doing? It wasn't me, it was the hand. Uh, is this a good idea? Whoa, what is that thing? Okay, time for the next challenge. Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <clears throat> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop, you're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands, no problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. Uh, what the heck is going on with her now? I really don't get her. What's she doing with those towels? Hi, yeah, we're still here, remember us? Well, okay, fine then. Here, have this flamingo. Oh, a flamingo. Okay, this should be fun. I'm gonna go with my favorite method and trace my hand. Okay, good. Now to rotate my paper. This bird is gonna need a head for sure. And then of course his big beak. Okay, eye is done. Now for the wings. And can't forget his long legs. Now for the color. Can't have a flamingo with some pink. He's gonna be so pretty when I'm done. I just know it. Just keep coloring, just keep coloring. Just a little bit more and done! Let me see. Gotta make sure to get the scale right. Eh, I'll just wing it. <laughs> that was a pretty good pun, if I say so myself. Okay, he looks something like this, I think. Okay, sure, that's a flamingo, I guess. Phew, that refreshing bath was just what I needed. What do you got? Ew, what is that? Some sort of weird chicken? Aw, yeah, sorry. I have to agree with her. Yours looks very nice, though. You win the flamingo challenge. Congrats! Yes! I won one all on my own. Listen, don't feel so sad. I'll share, of course. Here. Thanks. This does help me feel better. Mm. 
<laughs> Almost done. Your patience has paid off! Ta-da! <laughs> that looks kind of fun! Uh -huh. <laughs> Drawing a boy is super easy! Yes! I look at one in the mirror every day! So good! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure! Huh? Where does Stacy learn to do all that? <laughs> I can't turn this in! <gasps> Matt! You don't have time! Let's see those pictures! <laughs> hmm. I gotta think really fast here! Oops. There. A boy. <laughs> huh? I guess that is a boy. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Wait. Let me make one little adjustment. Fine. But just one minute. Thank you! These letters are a great starting point. Wow! <laughs> See? It's coming together! Ha! Take that art challenge! It's a masterpiece! <laughs> Whoa! Two Picassos in training! <laughs> I knew we could do it! Huh? What's going on? How come she has a snack? Excuse me, can I have some of the snack? No, no. We're here for a challenge. Let's see what the spinner chooses for the first challenge. A minion? Really? Yes! Well, good. Huh? Here are some bananas and toilet paper for you. What are we supposed to do with these? Hey, take a look! Look how ridiculous she looks! Oh my gosh, you're so right! But I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this teepee. I really don't get it. Hey, wait a second! I know exactly what I should do! I'll use this rope, too! Alright, got my cup of water. And I've got my colors, too. Okay, here's my paintbrush and banana! Time to get to work on this challenge! I'm gonna actually start with a pen, so I can draw on the banana. And now I'm gonna start painting. I'll begin with white! There we go! Now let me move on to the black. The black is for the pupil of the eye, of course. Now I get to move on to the blue, which the minions are known for! Hmm, alright, I see where that's going. Teeth time! He's got a cute and funny smile. I'll paint a little red here for his tongue. On to the dark blue overalls! This is actually a lot of fun! Yes! There we go! My minions are ready to go! Whoa! Hey, look at me! I'm a minion! Whoa! That's actually impressive! You really look like one! What ingenuity! I'm pleased! Here are my completed minions. What do you think? Well, I think you're the winner! Those are very nice minions! Congrats! You did such a good job! You deserve it! Thanks! All right. Let's see what happens when I paint this paintbrush with a… well, paintbrush. I'll just do stripes in different colors on the bristles. It's almost like a rainbow. Time for the spinner again. Huh. Alright, there it goes. 
It's spinning once more. Looks like it chose a starry sky. I know! Where's the paint? I need to get started! The paint is ready and so is my brush. Time for art! Okay, I'm gonna start with this black color. I wanna paint a streak. Now for a glob of blue right below. And then more globs of purple, blue, white, yellow, and orange. Now I'm just gonna get to brushing the paint from side to side. It's creating a sort of ombre effect. Okay, let me keep going here with the yellow. Great, that looks good. And then I'll do more black down here. I think maybe I want some structures in my skyline too. A little fence is nice, right by this tree. I don't want bare branches, though. Some dabs will create leaves. Oh, very nice. I guess maybe I should just start and see what happens. Blue it is! And maybe some more blue, too! Yeah! I like all these dark colors. They're fun! All right, paintbrush. You ready to get to work? Whoa! I really love how these brush strokes are turning out! Ooh, look at that paint getting pushed across the canvas! There we go! All the way down to the edge. Oh! Ah! Paint is getting all over my canvas! <gasps> Wait a second! This looks amazing! Hey! Look at my canvas! I'm done with my starry sky! Yes, I can see that. Yours is absolutely delightful! Yes! Thank you so much! You definitely deserve it! Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Oh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box! Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Huh, we've got a piece of paper. Oh, something's happening! Here comes the magic again! Look, it's an ice cream cone! How cute! It looks pretty tasty, too. I wish I had a real ice cream cone. Ooh, no kidding! Hey, let me see that over here. This'll be a fun one. Aw, no hands again. That's a huge bummer. Okay, I've got my one hand and a paintbrush. Ready to dab it into the paint. I think I'll start with red. Mm, gonna paint this ice cream. Gonna have a good time. I'm just adding different colors and dots on my picture. I've got red, yellow, blue, and mostly white. And now I'm gonna add some water and let them blend together. Mm, look at her doing all the painting over there. I better get started. Guess there's nothing to do but use my mouth. I could totally do this like this! Okay, just gotta start adding some dots on this paper. I need some of this color now, too. Maybe I'll add some of this color here. <gasps> oh no! This is just turning out terribly! Well, I guess this is what I came up with. Ta-da! At least it's colorful. I've got that going for me anyway. 
I'm done with my ice cream cone, too. See? The blending technique I used turned out great! I love it! Whoa! It turned into a real ice cream! Just like we were hoping it would! Looks so much like the ice cream cone I painted, too! Time to give this a taste. I hope it's good. It is. It's very good. I bet you're wishing you had an ice cream cone, too. What do you think we're gonna get this time? It's so exciting! Oh my gosh! Look! It's a cute little frog! Look at him just hopping around, doing his little ribbits. Well, I'm definitely ready to make some artwork featuring a frog. Wow! Me too! I love frogs and toads. Let me get my paper ready. Yes! Two hands this time! And you get one again! Looks like I'm gonna use this fine tip marker for this one. I'm gonna start by making two halves of hearts like this. I'll connect them underneath like this. And then above with an arc. Look at his cute little fingers! So adorable! I drew his eyes so now I need to start coloring him in. I've gotta use green, of course. He's a respectable frog. Ha! I get to use both hands and I'm gonna! I should be able to get it done twice as fast because, well, two hands. It's turning out great! This is a fantastic strategy! She was right about the little fingers and toes. Those are definitely the cutest. All right, the outline is complete. Time to start coloring him in. This is definitely going nice and fast. Though it's maybe not as delicate. Gotta go faster! Whoa! I've got smoke over here! Ah! What the heck? How did you start a fire over there? Yikes. Well, I guess I'm done with my froggy picture. <laughs> I was just coloring too fast, it seems. <laughs> well, my frog picture didn't catch fire, and here it is. Isn't it cute? Oh, what's that? It's a gummy frog! It must have come from my amazing picture! Time to shake the picture! Shake, 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 shake! <laughs> wow! That's a lot of gummy frogs! Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Like melon! I'm gonna take a bite of this one. I can't wait any longer. Wow, it's great. I just really love gummy foods. Whoa, what the heck are you doing? Shouldn't you slow down? No! <sighs> I love them too much to slow down! Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night. Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please, help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? A monster? Okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster freeze the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs! This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one! Hey, <laughs> There they are! Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all! Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only her face looked more natural. Come on, close! What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. Just gonna rest it on her face. And trace over her entire face. 
The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Ugh! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo! Off! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text!